Good morning friends. We all know that liver shoulder arthroplasty is a preferred treatment in patients over 65 years of age with bad shoulder conditions. But now today I am presenting a young patient. He is a 40 year old sailor. He is a merchant navy official and he suffered a proximal humerus fractures one year back. He was treated with orange but unfortunately the, um, the, uh, the plate got loosened and it was the implant was removed. The patient has a very very high expectation as he is, as he is a merchant navy, merchant navy professional and he has to drive and work on the ships. So this was his x-ray. Now as we can see on the x-ray there is a significant loss of the greater tuberosity. We can get a lot of bone loss there. There is overriding of the humeral head, the acromiohumeral distance is reduced and we can say that there is a lot, lot of damage and we can see the marks of the plates and screws still. This is the CT scan view which can show which shows that there is actually whole of the GT area is being vanished. There is no GT as such. The humeral head is upriding and there are artifacts because of the plate itself. Now this was a clinical video in which we can see that he has got a very very poor function of the shoulder. When he tries to move, move his shoulder up, he is he is just doing trick movements and most of the movements at this point of time is scapulothoracic. He does not have any movements whatsoever at the shoulder joint level. Besides, he does not have power. And now, as I told you, his function is mainly he is a merchant navy professional. He is driving the ships and he's, he wants to clump, climb up and down the ladders and he is unfit for his work. And so he has a high expectation from us and he wants to go back to the work. So this becomes a very very challenging case for me and because his age was actually less than my own age, he is just 40 years of age. So I just thought about his case and thought about the ideal treatment. So when the treatment comes to my mind, the possible treatment that I could think was just conserve and let him alone, let him leave alone, don't do anything, do a total shoulder arthroplasty or you do a excision sort of an arthroplasty or you do uh, procedures to increase his function like superior capsular reconstruction or a tendon transfer or to do a reverse shoulder arthroplasty. As the patient has, was high demand and want to have a more categorical procedure to improve his function, we discussed a lot with the patient and went ahead to do a reverse shoulder arthroplasty which was uneventful. We did a, a reverse shoulder arthroplasty in a standard fashion, fashion using a comprehensive system, uncemented glenoid and uncemented uh, humerus and then he has got a very good function. So at one year post-op he is almost able to achieve good function. He is now back to his work, back to his shape. He can now drive shapes, do work on his deck. He has got a very good forward flexion and he has got a good abduction as well. So. Finally, we could achieve a very good function which we were expecting at least in the short term. The results were very very good and we, results were encouraging. He has got almost all the range he, he expected and he is back to his work. So in a nutshell, we can conclude that a reverse shoulder replacement although is a procedure which is desirable in an older patients. In younger patients, if no other option is available, if the rotator cuff function is bad or the glenoid bone stock is poor, we should not hesitate in performing a, a reverse shoulder arthroplasty in a younger patient because it can give amazing functional results. Thank you.